welcome to the vlog. Today I'm gonna have a chat, we're gonna have a chat about what we're doing with our French trip. Now Mandy did just join me and we were gonna do a bit of a, but it ended up that I was just, because Mandy do, does all the planning and she's written notes for me uh, to do. So uh, we thought rather than me just do the vlog with Mandy sitting there um, and her not saying anything, it was a bit weird. So we decided I'm doing it again and ju it's just me, unfortunately, for you. So, things are a bit different this year. So we did book in, I think 2019 was the last time we went. We did book for 2020, but for obvious reasons we didn't go. That was, um, we were, we could have got a refund, but what we decided to do was roll it over to the next year. Now next year, I think we probably could have gone but we decided not to because it, it all involved wearing masks a lot of time and it was just we didn't really want to get we wanted to wait for it to die down a bit um so we spoke to the site and what we did we got a refund that year now the reason we got a refund is because we we really fancied trying another site you know the, see the thing is as you probably know as well if you go to a site that's you really really good you're absolutely it's a bit of a worry going on another site just especially when you're going so far, if you're on another site and you don't like it, I find with some French sites, and also I suppose the same with UK sites, is that you get some really good pitches, especially when you're in a twin axle, you need to be a bit careful with what pitch you select. So on the site we've been to a couple of times now, we know the site very well. We know, in fact, you can reserve a pitch. So we reserved a big pitch. We know there's a big pitch, we've actually seen it. Because uh, the first time we went there, we went on the service pitch, <laughs> rather weirdly, because we don't normally go on a service pitch, but it was actually a really rubbish pitch. It was right next to the toilets. It was very small. And if you've been following the channel for some time, you'd have known that our motor movers weren't working. So we, we had to get it. Anyway, it was a bit of a nightmare, the whole. And then some guy parked really weirdly next to, in the pitch next to us. He had um, like a motorhome widthways but like um, at the front of the pitch and then you had a awning and a tent going towards the back of the pitch and that was my way out so it was, anyway um, so it's a bit of a risk however this the site we've picked we have been able to select a pitch um, in fact because it's a twin axle they I think they have four pitches that are suitable for twin axles and I'll go into a bit more detail uh, in a little while on that so the world's a different place from when we last went. The world's a more expensive place since we last went. Um, the ferry's been just about double. Um, the fuel has gone through the roof. Um, exchange rate is pants. So it's actually going to cost us a lot more this year. But we're still determined to go. Hurrah for us. So we've changed a few things as well. Normally we've done a night crossing where the ferry, we got on a ferry about one o'clock in the morning which means getting to France very early hours of the next morning and then we just basically travelled until just after lunchtime but this time we're doing things differently so it'll either work or it won't work now we really enjoy travelling through the night when we when we go down to Cornwall we uh, Cornwall is probably seven or eight hours for us now we leave at maybe 10 o'clock the night before, knowing that we can't get on the pitch until midday or one o'clock or whatever. So we just take our time going down, stop in services, have a little sleep, move on, you know, just take our time doing it. Which is kind of what we did in France previously, but this time we basically go in the day before. So we're leaving the day before we'd normally go. So um, we're going down to Black Horse Farm, which is a caravan club site, relatively near to Dover. I can't remember how far away it is, but it's, I think, maybe 40 minutes drive or something like that, an hour, not, not even an hour's drive. Whereas for us, it should be less than two hours, but we got across the Dartford Tunnel, or Dartford Crossing, and if you're a regular there, you know that you just can't guarantee when you're going to get across or what time, how long it's going to take you. It could take you four hours, could take you, you know. We've missed ferries before. So we're going the night before down to Black Horse Farm, um, our ferry is at 11 o'clock the next day. Now we're going with Irish ferries. Now P&O had all sorts of issues 
uh, earlier in the year. In fact, when I've recorded now, probably only they've only probably been sailing again for like a month. And you know, some of it was didn't like what they did to their staff, blah blah, taking a moral high ground. But of course, Irish ferries did the same thing a few years ago. So you can't on the moral, you can't really win. You you just got to, anyway. This time we didn't fancy P and O, so we went with Irish ferries. Now Irish ferries take Tesco's club card vouchers, so we were able to save save about 150 quid using uh, Tesco's vouchers that we've built up during the last couple of years probably. So that kind of gets us into Calais just after lunchtime, early afternoon. Now our first site is 20, about 21 miles from Calais. So basically the first day we're not doing a great deal of traveling. We're doing uh, from Black Horse Farm to Dover, uh, Calais to uh, you know what, I'll put the names of the site down here because uh, Chateau du Gans Pet. Who knows? There it is. Anyway, there it is down there. Now, the reason we're kind of staying there is that we don't really want a particularly long drive the first day. Um, and also, with the new regulations about not taking, not being able to take Mioncourt meat based products. We're going to do a shop when we first get to France. Now, we don't normally do that. We normally take enough food in the caravan for us to basically get most of the way down, which is two or three days. But this time is different. So we're going to, there's Care 4 just down the road um, and do a bit of shopping. So we're going to stay there one night. Then the next day we have um, 242 miles to get to Troyes. And I think some of you might know this is Camping Lac de Orient, which I believe was a caravan club. It's on the caravan club um, site. So let's in Troy. So we stay there one night. So the third day is 279 miles and Camping Chantemel in Tan. Honestly, the French, if the French ever watch this, they'll have me. They're bad me. Mrs. Guillotine will be uh, after me. So and the, so we spend one night there, and then after that we go on again for another 251 miles to our destination, which is camping. <sighs> I'm starting to wish I hadn't done this vlog. Um, I put the name there. Now this one is just outside Collier, which is somewhere we're very familiar of, uh, familiar with, in between Argelé and Collier. And we're there for two weeks so that so that takes us basically that's on our fourth day we we get there now this is an area we're very familiar with and if you've watched our french vlogs before i'll have taken you around a few places there so most of the trip is using auto routes so toll toll roads um now we do that mainly for speed now no you can take the a or d roads and oh isn't this jolly let's have a jolly time uh, which we like to do but being a working person, we are on a time budget, if you like, if if not a, fin or a financial budget, so obviously, but a time budget. So we need to not necessarily race down there, but pretty much go as quickly as we're comfortable. Now we're fairly confident that we've been a few times, we're fairly confident how many hours a day I can drive or how many hours a day we want to travel and it's around the five or six hours uh, obviously we stop every now and again because there's plenty of airs so that's the journey down there like I say 800 miles over one two three actually three kind of traveling days so Calais to Troyes Troyes to Tarn and then Tarn to Collier then so two weeks just outside Collier and then we uh, we leave and we're doing a kind of bit of a weird thing on the way back in that we leave on we, we book there till the Saturday morning but we're gonna Sunday morning but we're gonna leave Saturday evening and travel a bit through the night and stop overnight so over the Saturday and Sunday we arrive um, Sunday night in Le Mans in Le Mans, Le Mans. so uh, that's 574 miles so Roughly 300 ish miles a day. Maybe it might be two and six, two and four, you know, but it, it, something like that. But we, we end up in Le Mans anyway, at Camping Neuville, Le Mans, again, 
information will be here somewhere. So we're there for a few nights. Now this is a site we've, no, so we're there one night, Lamar. Then we go on for another 134 miles up to, I hate the French. So I don't hate the French, I hate the French language. So it's a campsite we've stayed at before and it's Camping Le Trois Rios, which is the Three Kings. Now we've stayed before and it's not too far from Claude Monet's house, the artist you know, and painter at Giverny. Okay, so somebody cutting my trees down. Or I've got a telegraph pole just outside. I hope they're not chopping that down. It's a... So we've got a, f a few days there. It's right on the river. It's a site we really like and we'd like to go. We're going to go again because we liked it so much first time around. Um, and from there, it's 141 miles, 141 miles up to Campin Le Bien Assis, <clears throat> which I, I know a few people are familiar with that. <clears throat> that one night there. It's not too far from Calais, then we're up, up to Calais and the ferry home. So that's that. So that's it. Like I say, go in a few days' time, and probably by the time you're watching this vlog, we would have already gone. Um, but if you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and you'll get updates when we post updates. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it. Um, previous, previous visits... Now, I do like vlogging. Um, it doesn't get in the way of the holiday. I just had the camera along with us and, and basically ad lib. I don't need to do a lot, as you probably know. I don't need to do a lot of preparation for any of my vlogs. It's kind of generally I like to do stuff that's in my head. That's why this vlog has been difficult for me because Mandy did all the planning and she's made fantastic notes. But um, I haven't really committed a lot of it to memory. So, excuse the mismatched disjointed vlog here and that tree cutting down is absolutely doing my head in hopefully hopefully you can't hear it so yeah like subscribe hit the notification bell ah i know what i'm saying yeah so vlogging when we're on holiday now i'll take the camera wherever we go it's kind of it's a hobby anyway i don't consider it a job it's just something i like doing um and I add lib loads. It's just ad I just pick the camera up and start talking into, into it whenever I see something interesting to talk about. So follow us if you enjoy it, or if you. I'm gonna have to wrap the vlog up because honestly, whoever that is with that chainsaw is doing my head in. So like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. This is quality caravan vlog. Yeah, 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 yeah.